Hey Vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Blade Kit by Geek Vape, and I don't care how old it is. This is a 235 watt kit, what the fuck? Subscribe to my life channel for better videos. YouTube.com slash at home tf. It says Starry Night, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. You guys, if this didn't come with batteries, which it takes 21700s, I'm not gonna be able to vape it because I gave all those batteries away. Anyways, let's go through the kit. There's an accessory box at the bottom. Ooh, we've got a long charge cord and whoa, it's like, oh, that's like my iPhone. Oh my God, I'm gonna keep this for my iPhone. <laughs> and a package of extra O-rings and screws and an extra metal piece that I don't know what it is, but we'll find out. An extra coil. It's a 0.15 ohm, good between 60 and 80 watts. An extra glass tube for the tank in case you drop it and break it. Here's the tank, it's kind of huge and ugly. It's a 0.4 ohm coil installed, good between 40 and 60 watts, which is great because that's where I vape at. Here's the mod, it is the prettiest thing I ever did see. OMG. You guys, that's actually freaking sick. Battery venting holes. 510 connection at the top, power button, regulatory button. I wouldn't charge the batteries in the device because that's just me. There's a little notch where you can pull out the back and it takes two. Oh, yay, they're 18650s, I'm so excited. The box is powered with 21700 technology, so I think it could do both, relatable. And you remove this whole piece, to get to the paperwork. We've got the user's manual. I will be taking a peek at that. And this little envelope, which probably has like the warranty card, the authenticity card, warning, all of that jazz. Warning, called it. Warranty, called it. And then just like what other colors it comes in. Oh, look at that pink one, sick. When did this kit even come out? I don't know and I don't care. Because guess what? Older kits are cheaper. And since no vape companies send me things anymore, I've gotta buy it all. It can do dual 21700, 2700, or 18. 650 good because that's all your girl has i'm gonna pull a zofi vapes and um pause it if you want to read all the specs because i don't want to list those off like a robot anymore oh, excuse me it's zofi reviews now get it right the back is held on with really strong magnets and for some reason the fire button is lighting up green but there's no screen is it on oh Five clicks turns it on. There's the screen. It displays the power mode, the power level, battery level, which is low, the coil, which is your ohms, the amps, the voltage, and a puff counter. And if you try to fire it without, an, it says no coil detected. See that line going through the screen? That's because my camera, not the screen. You can adjust the wattage by pushing the up or down buttons, respectively. Since the coil we're gonna put on here is 40 to 60, I'm gonna set it to 45. That's, wow, that went up very fast. Point 0.1 increments, guys. 45. All right, let me fill up this tank. It has adjustable airflow at the bottom that is fully closable and then a stopper and you just halfway turn and pull up on the lid. You fill in either of those slits. Do not fill in the center like a dumbass because that'll just flood your coil. The drip tip is removable and it looks to be an 810 drip tip. Don't quote me, boy, cause I ain't said shit. There we go, wow, that's so pretty, much pretty, so fun. If you press and hold the plus and minus button at the same time, you can see next to the W, a little lock symbol appear. See, now you can't change it, it's in lock. To unlock, you press and hold again. There, it's gone. If you press and hold the fire button and either up or down buttons, you can change the display screen brightness. So it's at 100% and see if you press and hold, then it goes down, press and hold, either one, however bright you want it. See, it goes down, down, baby, yo, shit, oh, zero. If you press the fire button three times, you go into the select mode, you can do power or TC for nickel, temperature control for stainless steel, temperature control for TI, which is titanium. You can go TCR mode, or VPC mode, and I don't know what VPC mode stands for because I am such a has-been, but we'll find out. Or there's 
bypass mode. The user's manual doesn't tell me what VPC mode is, but I think it has something to do with your preset modes because you have P1 through P5 different values that you can set. This kit's been out for a million years, so I'm not gonna bother going through how to use it and all that jazz because you probably all already know I'm just gonna look pretty and vape it for you. I am annoying the fuck out of myself. <laughs> I'm gonna give this coil a chance, but so far the flavor sucks. The cloud production is great, but I get better flavor in a pod system. I'm gonna vape through this tank and see if I can't break this nasty coil in. Well, I vaped a lot through this coil, and I'm gonna be brutally honest because I have nothing to lose. The flavor isn't as good as I have had in many other tanks and pod systems. This mod, though, is probably one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. I wonder how well the paint would hold up over time. And I'm sure one of you guys can tell me in the comments because this probably came out like three years ago. I'll tell you what though, 45 is a perfect setting for this coil for vapor production and temperature. Also, this is the aero tank. Did I mention that? Probably not. I'm just really in a mood of super sarcastic vape reviews. Would you still watch? I guess it doesn't matter because you don't anyway. And that's the real tea, sis. My flavor is still really good because it's just good in anything you put it in. But um, yeah, I've had it sweeter come out way sweeter and vibrant in other things. So I guess if you like like a toned down, not so sweet, you might like the coil, but um, yeah. That's it for the video. You know what, for a big mod too, it's really lightweight. Like, whatever they made this out of, super lightweight. <gasps> Vaping ASMR. <laughs> Would you watch that? All right guys, my child is whining. He must have got up from his nap. So that means it's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the blade kit. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you did. And if you do comment below, I'll probably comment back to you. Subscribe to this channel for more vape videos, but go subscribe to my other channel for all other types of videos from me. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching. Ah.